All right, hope you're doing well. As you can see from behind me, it is a rainy, dreary day here in the RVA, so it's a good time to do an office video. And today we're gonna to be talking about Hanover County, and we're gonna be taking a look at Hanover on the map. Now Hanover, like a lot of our counties, is very, very large geographically. So like my various neighborhood tours, I'm going to be breaking down Hanover County into sort of smaller bite-sized pieces. Today I'm going to concentrate on the map on looking at Mechanicsville, which is comprised of the 23111 and 23116 zip codes. That way you can get an idea of its orientation and proximity to things like downtown Richmond and other important landmarks like the airport. Now Mechanicsville is a growing suburb of Richmond and it's part of Hanover County and it wraps around sort of the northwest portion of the city which you will see once we hop onto the map. Now you can take a look at other videos I've done that uh, on Mechanicsville look at different neighborhoods at different price points. This will kind of help you put this video a little bit more into context and it would be great to check out that video when you're done with this one. And as always, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a great resource that you definitely don't want to miss that can save you a lot of time and effort if you're relocating to the greater RVA area. And we're getting after it right now. So if this is your first time at a channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Richmond, Virginia, and the surrounding counties of Hanover, Henrico, Chesterfield, New Kent, Goochland, and Palatan, then subscribe below and tap the notifications bell so you can be the first to know about everything that's going on in Richmond, Virginia. My name is Scott Gurnley with Joiner Fine Properties. I get calls, texts, emails from folks like you every single day who are looking to make the move to RVA and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days, 90 days, heck, even nine months, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All of that information is in the description below and I'll help you make a smooth move to Richmond, Virginia. All right, like I said, today we're going to look at Hanover County, specifically Mechanicsville, on the map. So all right, let's hop over onto my computer and we'll take a peek. All right, so we've jumped on my computer and we're taking a look at Mechanicsville, Virginia, which is the 23111 and 23116 zip codes. So that is this area right here. If you follow my cursor, it is right here. And as you see, the city of Richmond is right here in the middle of our screen. And we have the James River that kind of runs right on through Richmond and it, it kind of bisects Richmond in half. You have things that are north of the James River up here, things that are south of the James. And as you can see, Mechanicsville kind of wraps around Richmond on the north side. And it's sort of, I call it north, maybe a little bit west of Richmond. You know, this is west and this is east. You know, west is to our left in this uh, scenario and east is this way. Kind of partially north, partially west, partially east. So the farther we go over here is more eastern Hanover. Where we go over here is more western. So that is how Mechanicsville is in relation to Richmond as a whole. So as we zoom in, you can see downtown Richmond is very pretty darn close to Mechanicsville. You are not far at all. If you're coming to downtown Richmond, you are most likely going to hop here on 360's Mechanicsville Turnpike, take that into 64 and come right on downtown. So working downtown from Mechanicsville, you are not far at all to get there. Now uh, here in Sandston, following my cursor, this is the airport. So if you uh, have a job that takes you to the airport, you're, it's pretty darn easy anywhere in Mechanicsville to get to the airport. To get to the airport, you're just going to hang on 295, come right on down here, and then there's an airport exit that'll shoot you right into the airport. So very convenient if you work downtown or if you uh, travel a lot and need to go to the airport. Now, if you want to go to places like Williamsburg, you would just hop here 295 to 64, go east, you know, not too far down there, you'll hit Williamsburg. Same thing if you're going north, if you want to go to DC. 
all you do is hop on 295, get the 95 North. And uh, if you travel to DC a fair amount, you are, it's very convenient from Mechanicsville to get on the 95 North and go up to DC. All right, so let's say some of our bigger employers, Capital One, uh, CarMax, they're here off of 288 in Goochland County. So it is going to be a bit of a drive to get there, but you would just take 295, 64 to 288, and you can get to you know some of these big employers that are out this way if you don't work downtown. So again, you have lots of arteries in Mechanicsville to get to places. So it is pretty easy to get the stuff, which is going to be good because they're, we're kind of getting on the outskirts of town. There's not going to be as much shopping out here. There's not going to be as much dining. So you are going to need to travel to some things. But again, getting to places is very, very easy. One of our biggest shopping destinations is the Short Pump Town Center which is super easy to get to from Mechanicsville. You would just hop on 295. And once you get to 64, you're pretty much right here at Short Pump and the Short Pump Town Center. So that is probably a 20 minute drive. And again, to get to downtown Richmond, depending on where in Mechanicsville you are, you're probably looking at anywhere from 10 minutes if you're here on this front side of Mechanicsville, 10 minutes if you're on this side, maybe 20 minutes if you're on this side if you work downtown. And kind of uh, same thing to the airport, anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, depending on where in Mechanicsville you live. But again, it's very easy to get to all of these places. And again, shopping, like for major shopping, your best bet's gonna be to head out here to the Short Pump Town Center. And then you can also come into the city and go to Willow Lawn, is not gonna be too far away. Let me see if I can find that. So Willow Lawn is up in here. So that is not too far either to get into the shopping at Willow Lawn from Mechanicsville. If you live in Mechanicsville, if you want to know where you're going to do like your grocery shopping and things like that. So you have two major sort of, I'm going to call industrial arteries. One is 360, that's Mechanicsville Turnpike. And then the other is 301, that's Chamberlain. So once you get onto these, these are major things where you're going to find lots of businesses. So grocery stores, Lowe's Home Improvements, you know, things like your car dealerships, there's your Kroger. You're gonna find all of these things, there's Aldi, there's Publix. You're gonna find all of these things on these two major arteries. Now that's not to say there's not things off of them, but you're gonna find lots of things there off of Mechanicsville Turnpike. And then if you're up on this side of Mechanicsville, same thing with 301, you're going to find you know, there's your Kroger, um, you know, your, you know, again, there's lots of stuff. Here's a, your hospital. These are major arteries where you're going to find, you know, a lot of these things that you're going to want, restaurants and food. So those are probably where you're going to be visiting for your everyday staples. And again, most of that is going to be along these two arteries, 301 and 360. Uh, mainly you're going to get more of the chain restaurants out here. Again, just like going over here to Short Pump, if you want, you know, there's going to be more options here. There's going to be more of your local Richmond options downtown. So again, you'll have to hop in the car, but it's so convenient to get the stuff from Mechanicsville. It's not hard to get to these items. For schools, your, your two major schools in Mechanicsville are gonna be Atley High, which is here. That serves more of the 23116 zip code. Looking at this, 23116 is more of this I'm going to say western side of Mechanicsville, and 23111 is more the eastern side of Mechanicsville. So Atley High is going to serve us up here, and then Mechanicsville High, which was formerly Lee Davis High, services more the 23111 section. Now these are both good schools. I highly recommend looking these up on niche.com, on greatschools.org and you'll get to see uh, info on those. Now, I'm not going to get into all the middle schools and in the elementary schools because there's just so many of them. Those are the two major high schools from Mechanicsville, and you'll be happy with them. Just check them out on the ratings websites. 
So let's hop over and we're just going to jump on to Zillow real quick and take a look at what Mechanicsville looks like on Zillow. Again, here's Mechanicsville sort of outlined. Doesn't zoom out quite as well, but you'll see where it is in relationship to Richmond. And as we zoom in, you'll start seeing some different neighborhoods, different home prices. You know, we do have everything, you know, from a million to much lower here in Mechanicsville. And again, you'll see the big artery that runs through it, Mechanicsville Turnpike, which is 360, and then up on this side, 301. Then coming over here, you'll see some nice, some different pictures of the houses. But again, we kind of hit more of this stuff in the neighborhood tours. So I'm not going to focus a ton on that right now. You know, we've got some nice neighborhoods. Pebble Creek is in there. There is plenty of new construction, like you'll see right here in Hanover in the Gangsville area. So there are some good new construction options for sure over there. So we're going to go into some home stats here. So Mechanicsville is a total of about 37,000 people. I know we're getting into a little bit of like census data here. And the median household income in Mechanicsville is $77,000. So looking at prices compared to the MLS, again, it's two zip codes. And look, there's kind of a tale of two zip codes, that western part of Mechanicsville 23116, its median home price is 455 and 23111, it's 344. There's over a hundred thousand dollars difference. And then this is how it relates to the entire MLS. So 23111 tracks kind of pretty closely to the MLS to all of our houses in the area, but 23116 is quite a bit higher. So I find that interesting that it's sort of a tale of two zip codes as far as price with the western part of Mechanicsville being much pricier than the eastern part of Mechanicsville. But again, let's kind of look. Things are not staying on the market for that long. The entire MLS right now, things are staying about 15 days. And again, 23116 is tracking pretty close and 23111 is just a little bit higher uh, than that. So percent of list price, again, not a ton of negotiation. Things are selling for almost in the entire list price. So right at 99% of list price. Now looking at dollar per square foot, Again, both of them are a bit higher. Our entire MLS is about 201 per square foot. 23111 over here is $213 a foot, and 23116 is, as you would expect, a little bit higher at $218 per foot. So that is kind of interesting information right there. So that is it for our look at Mechanicsville, Virginia. Again, it's this lovely little section right here part of hanover county now hanover county is much larger hanover is if you're following my cursor it goes way out here so mechanicsville is kind of close in hanover county so to speak if you get out to these areas farther out it is some of the most beautiful farmland you will ever see. You know, you hear of Hanover tomatoes. You've got horse farms out here. You would think you were in another country if you get out into the farmland and it, it's just expansive farmland out here in the out, outer parts of Hanover County. So, you know, if you're looking for that larger lot, you're looking for that, you know, 10, 15 acres that you want a horse farm on, you can find that in Hanover. It's going to be a little farther out, maybe not necessarily in Mechanicsville, but you do have options in Hanover County. So that's it. But today we're focusing mainly on this part of Hanover called Mechanicsville. And I uh, hope you found it uh, helpful. And uh, we're going to head back off of my computer and wrap this video up. Well, that's it for our map tour of Mechanicsville, Virginia, and beautiful Hanover County. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Scott Gurnley with Joiner Fine Properties, and I've helped countless folks move to the greater Richmond area in my 20 plus years of real estate, and I'd love to work with you. So I created a very, very helpful relocation guide. It can save you hours of time and research if you're moving to the area, and you can link to that just below. It's a must download, and uh, I think you'll like it. So remember, if you're moving in nine days, 90 days, nine months, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. All that information is right below. And until next time, I hope to show you around town. Have a great one.